Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm very excited to be here with you to show you my favorite fall lipsticks. Yes, this is what I do with my girlfriends here in Wichita, where I live. I will be in one phase, and I'll buy a bunch of one thing and experiment with it, and then I'll show it to them. And then before you know what, I'm on to another thing. And right now, I am into beautiful fall lipsticks. This one is a nude, and I'm starting to switch from nudes, which I was really heavily into over the spring and summer, into darker colors for fall. I don't know if I'm getting bored with nudes. I still really love them. They're really, really beautiful, but I am really interested in getting into the richer, darker, redder, barrier colors of fall and winter. Okay, here we go. And I will say I broke this video down into two different videos because I got all of my favorite lipsticks here and I didn't give you any of the also brands. I gave you all of the lipsticks that I absolutely use, enjoy, and love. And I realized I had 18 of them. So I did decide to break them down into the 10 luxury lipsticks. I'm calling them luxury lipsticks, which is actually just Charlotte Tilbury and MAC lipsticks. I don't get up into the Tom Fords. I really don't want to fall in love with a $50 lipstick. <coughs> oh, iced coffee. I love that. I really don't want to fall into the truly high-end lipsticks, so I have 10 of those to show you in this video. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see my other video, then please click that little bell and subscribe. That will just send you an email of my drugstore faves, and I have eight of those to show you. Before I get into showing you the luxury lipsticks, I did want to tell you something about this face of makeup that I have, and I've been going through a Charlotte Tilbury phase. That's probably an understatement. I probably now have maybe all of their little eyeshadow quads, but maybe one or two. And I also have almost all of their blushes, and I'm wearing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury here, including the lipstick, which I'll start out with in just a few moments. This eyeshadow, though, is a very interesting one. This is their Sophisticate Quad, and it is a matte quad, and I absolutely love it. This is pretty much the day look with that quad, and tomorrow morning I'll be making a video of the application of all of these Charlotte Tilbury products and the day look for the Sophisticate. And in that same video, I'll be showing you how you can apply a little bit more of this product and get a wonderful sparkling evening look out of it. Very exciting. And Charlotte Tilbury is definitely a phase I'm going through and really loving right now. And the first lipstick in my Luxury Fall lipstick line, my favorites, is the lipstick I have on. And this is the only nude one I'm going to be showing you today because I'm really getting into the darker, the barrier, the redder colors for fall. Not so much red, but at least darker than the nudes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Hepburn Honey. There is a look at it right there. And it is in their Kissing Formula, which is their cream, very satiny, very rich, very smooth formula. Absolutely a beautiful nude color, a little bit of a corally brown to that. I'll go ahead and apply a little more. And it just goes on so smooth and glossy. And there you go. There's that Charlotte Tilbury Hepburn Honey. And my next fall luxury lipstick fave is again a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And this is in the color Very Victoria. And this is their matte revolution formula. And even though it is a matte, and you can see I've really worn that down, even though it is a matte, it goes on very smooth and creamy. And unlike other more inexpensive mattes maybe, this one does not feel drying on the lips at all. Here we go. I wear this formula all the time because Pillow Talk is also in the Matte Revolution formula, and Pillow Talk and Very Victoria are two of my absolute favorites in that line. And here is that lipstick. It is a nude shade with a little bit of taupe, which makes it perfect for fall. Here we go. Now let's get into my second Luxury Fall lipstick, and this is a MAC lipstick again in the color Modesty. Absolutely love this. There is that color. And this is a brownish rosy tone, and it is in their Cream Sheen formula. I'll go ahead and apply that for you. Goes on very smooth and creamy. And I would say this is a little bit of a rosy brownish nude, and there it is. Absolutely beautiful. And my next fall luxury lipstick fave is again a MAC lipstick, and it is in the color Cream in Your Coffee, and here it is, a beautiful kind of rosy brown, and they call this a buildable formula, a buildable cream formula, and here we go. A little darker than the last one. 
And they call this a semi-glossy finish, which I do like this. I'm starting to lean a little bit more away from the mats. And here it is. Beautiful, darker, richer fall tone. And my next luxury fall lipstick fave is again a MAC lipstick, and this is in their matte formula, but again, it's very rich and creamy. And this is in a color called You Wouldn't Get It. And I found this color when I was going to the MAC counter to get some blush, and the lady behind the counter had this on, and I absolutely loved it. Very unusual for me. It's really a pinky berry color, and I'll go ahead and apply that for you. And even though it's a matte, it goes on very rich and creamy. And there is that color, you wouldn't get it. And my next fall lipstick fave is again a MAC color, and it is in the color Twig. And they call this a satiny lipstick, and it does have a really creamy, cushiony feel on the lips. And here is Twig, an absolutely beautiful brownish berry tone. And here we go, I'll apply that for you. Very creamy formula, feels great on the lips, and there it is. Now the last luxury fall lipstick I'll be showing you is again a MAC lipstick in the color Soar. And this is in their creamy matte formula, and there it is. It is the darkest of the lipsticks I've showed you. And I'll go ahead and put it on here. That is a burgundy brownish color, and it is kind of a dramatic color, but it's great on those sweater days, and here it is. Great fall color that goes into winter, too. These are a look at all of the shades. The first is MAC Velvet Teddy. In fact, they're all MAC shades. The first is Velvet Teddy. The next is Modesty, and then Cream in Your Coffee, and then we have You Wouldn't Get It, Twig, and Soar. That is a look at all those colors. Well, that was a look at some of my favorite fall lipsticks, and I have to admit this is rather a dark one, but I am enjoying it, and I look forward to wearing it, especially in the coming months as it gets a little colder outside. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in joining the 50 Plus Beauty family of women trying to make their second half their best half, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of my future videos. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I'm going to be reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Let's go ahead and choose a card. Choose something good to think about for today. And here it is. I begin my day with love. I begin my day with love. Oh, friends, this card is kind of self-evident, but isn't this a good thing to remember? I begin my day with love. Friends, as they say in the song, love makes the world go round, and isn't that the truth? Lately in our world, it seems very confusing and like there's a lot other than love going on right now, but really, I do think that in the end, love does triumph, and it really triumphs when we keep love in the forefront of our minds. So friends, just for today, as we go through our days, let's look for the love around us, let's look for the love in our hearts, and let's see how we can share love and kindness with others. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.